Okay, so watching back all of the clips that I've recorded, I have a lot of them, by the way, but uh, apparently I haven't recorded an intro for the Reboot Solis comeback, I guess. Um, but now that I'm recording a, a, an intro, I don't really know what I'm sh what I'm supposed to be introing. So let me just say, um, this is the highest level character on this on this server that I have. Um, I don't really want to expend too much on too many details because it's all in the video. So yeah, just don't want to spoil too much. Um, yeah, so we are back in Reboot Solace. Uh If you didn't watch the video explain why I stopped playing on Hyperion, I encourage you guys to watch it. Or if you don't want to watch it, I'll give you a TLDR. It's basically uh, the ping got to me. <laughs> that's that's the TLDR. Uh, and yeah, oh, I guess I should say that this is the sixth episode of uh, um, of this series. The series was just on hold while I'm while I was playing on uh, Hyperion, but uh, we're gonna just pick up where we left off, or roughly where we left off. I did make some upgrades from time to time on this account um, while I was playing on Hyperion, but uh, it's roughly the same place where I have uh, left off in the last episode of this series. So yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave a link to the playlist containing all of the episodes in the description. So you can go and watch this, and uh, yeah, let's get into the video now. Okay, so the dogs have been parking for like half an hour now, so I don't, um, I'm just gonna record, and hopefully you guys can't hear it. Um, so I just logged into the Hayato to do, <laughs> to do um, the food store house, and I realized, oh yeah, I actually leveled this character up only with first job with like the... 0 to 100 event so I like I didn't <laughs> I didn't even do any of the jobs before leveling up because you need to do a quest and I didn't want to waste time on the quest so I just okay I need to level up all of the skills now oh I should take the set from the 0 to 100 event as well because burning set uh not burning a uh, frozen set we don't have the masses to open up any of the <laughs> any of the thingies here but okay uh, let's change the legion a bit, or I guess I don't have to change it. How much is my crit rate when I'm using all of the links? So this this account has a this account has a level three uh, phantom link, so that's pretty nice, and it has this um this one from well I guess it doesn't really matter right like I don't I don't really need to think about it too much. Let's put this on the key. That's where it is. Okay, let's do Zakum before I do anything else. Zakum should give me at least one level. <laughs> nice, two levels. Okay, cool. Okay, let's get a rune somewhere. The thing that I really love about um about Europe is that everything is like a hundred percent burn. So that's really nice. Oh well, let me just uh, open the event though before I do anything else. So let's just make sure I'm all set. Let's max the Hitokiri strike actually. Because this gives me um, a lot of crit rate, so I wanna I wanna max it out. It gives me like a huge crit rate buff. Okay, so I have everything probably. We take the rune and we go straight into the storehouse. Fuck. <laughs> And it seems like we were able to get um, to 140. Um, the room ran out right as I was about to finish, so <laughs> that's cool. I even got to 142, so that means I'm getting uh, a bit more um, levels, I guess. <laughs> and also the option to use my uh, thingy um, that I forgot the name of. But uh, yeah, the thingy. Um, Bonk potions, yeah, that's, that's what I thought about. <laughs> Okay, so um, anyway, this character is now finished. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a character for the 0 to 100 event. Because remember, this account is like... I didn't play on it almost at all. So this account has a lot of stuff to like get from uh, the events and stuff. 
Okay, I'm not sure which character I'll create right now. I think it's probably gonna be some resistance character, most likely, because uh, I need to resist in Slink skill at some point in my life, so... It's probably gonna be a resistance Slink skill. Um, I'm not sure though, I'm actually really not sure, so... I'll probably level it up all the way to 101 uh, for now, and then think about what I'm doing it with it uh, in the future, so yeah. Let's just go and create another character now. So apparently I don't have any slots to create characters, and I don't want to waste a lot of missiles for that for now. So I'll probably just uh, do the Lara. Uh, I mean, Lara, Lara link skill is pretty damn good for leveling up wheels and stuff, so... Uh, it's probably not that bad of an idea. Oh, actually I should probably do this guy. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this guy. I'll do, I'll do the Pathfinder. Yeah, that's a good idea, probably, because this is going to be one of my mains. Um, yeah, so I might as well do this. Okay, so let's just uh, designate this character to the 0 to 100 event, which I'm, I I hope like I'll have enough time to complete everything here. Oh, whoops, I, I actually wrote the wrong thing. Oops, designate. Okay, uh, let's see if it tells me uh, what the event period is. Okay, okay, so I do have enough time. Cool. Okay, I have way way more than enough time. Okay, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's let's just do everything here. Um, I have my link skills and stuff, so I'll just do it without XP buffs. And then when I reach uh, level one hundred, I'll use the XP buffs probably to train on this character. I also took the I had the bad instrument. Where is it? Oh, it's in my inventory. Yeah, I have this. Uh, this is about to expire in in a month from now, so I'll probably just try to make use of it uh, as much as I can on random characters that I have. So I did finish um, the whole event thing, but now I need to do <laughs> I need to do third and fourth job. So that's the third job, and I need to do the fourth one as well. I didn't do those two because I just didn't feel the need to. But uh, yeah, let's do them right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and farm on this character all the way up to um, whatever it stops at because I have this coupon which is gonna expire and I don't want it to expire without doing anything so yeah I'll just use that I guess. I'm gonna also take a VIP buff because you know why not might as well. Let's take one of those um, let's just go farm now. I'm just gonna do um, whatever feels right for me um, all the way up to level well again whatever I wherever I stop at because I don't expect to get a very high level or anything but uh, yeah I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, farm with these coupons and stuff and uh, let's see where it takes us so I'm gonna just take a bit of a gamble here and uh, go ahead wait so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do uh, I need to do it really quickly though uh, where is it where is it where's this boss dude uh, here it is okay I'm gonna try and do normal um this guy until maybe I can kill at least one head with the XP buffs please I need to wait please attack already okay yeah no never mind okay I'm never killing your head hopefully it gives me any any amount of XP like any good amount of XP so that I actually get something out of it at least no it doesn't give XP okay they changed it never mind they actually changed it just like Zakum uh, I didn't know that fuck me um, as you can see I already uh, arrived at like level 137 so that's pretty damn good I could have probably leveled up once more if I didn't go to this gamble <laughs> which was a, a mistake obviously but uh, yeah, I could have leveled up once more, but that doesn't help me to get to 140, so yeah. Um, but honestly, I'm not very worried about, I'm not really worried about uh, getting to 140. I, I don't need this character at 140, I don't care about its legion or whatever. It's just, uh, I just wanted the link skill to get to level, uh, to level 2. So I have the level 6 uh, archer link skill from the explorer. Um, from the explorer archers. But yeah, basically... Uh, I'm done with this character, so after I'm done with this boss, I'll just uh, log out of this character and go to my... Well, I'm not sure what, but uh, <laughs> I'll go to another character. I'm just spamming... Okay, whatever. This is fucking stupid. I shouldn't have come here. <laughs> it was such a stupid fucking gamble. It was really pointless. Um, but yeah, the Legion is currently at uh, 5834, so I'm really close to 6k. Really, really, really close. 
I have five characters that I didn't put on the board on this on this setup because I haven't played on this uh, on this account in a long time, so I need to do that. So I'll probably go to my dual blade and do dailies and stuff. So uh, yeah. Okay. So this character now has enough coins for a superior Golox ring. I guess I had I had coins for that uh, before, but <laughs> I just forgot that the cost is seven hundred and not seven fifty. So yeah, this ring will obviously replace the Silver Blossom and once I get a belt, I'll be able to replace the belt as well. I'm not gonna upgrade this thing just yet. Yeah, let's finish um, doing daily bosses on this character and then move to the next character. So I had like a trillion different familiars saved up from when I leveled up Legion and uh, at some point when I leveled this character up to 150 um, with this burning right now, um, I opened up the familiars and tried to get like 15% uh, ID familiars, like three of them and then one uh, drop rate familiar. Uh, and I'm really happy about the results because I think I got everything. I'm pretty sure if I remember. Yeah, okay. So I have like uh, three 15% familiars and then a 15% ID, I mean. And then also a 50% uh, drop rate. So that's pretty damn good. Uh, the rest of them are just random um, healing familiars that I, I'm not sure what to do with yet, so I just save them and uh, I'll look into it later on when I actually need it. But yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and like uh, level up on this character. Um, I have a bunch of XP buffs on me. I think there was an MVP a few minutes ago, but uh, I kind of missed it, so yeah. Um, but I do have a a personal MVP that's about to expire anyway, so it doesn't matter. One thing I can do though is I can just work on my Star Force and go train at Star Force maps. So let's see which Star Force maps I can go to. Yeah, this one. If I can get the high burning. Oh, I love you. I love, I love Europe. I love the European server. Oh, Jesus. 90% burning in this map. Jesus, dude. Holy shit. That's absolutely insane. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and like look up here, I guess. Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah, I'm leveling up here for sure. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, once I move to the next map, I guess. Oh my god, I just did a Zakrum run for the items, for the face accessories and stuff. And I got both of them in one run. That's pretty damn good. I'm happy about that. Nice. Oh, if this flame would have been um, uh, Dex instead of STR, it would have been so good. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade everything to as many stars as I can and just, uh, yeah, so just so I could be uh, able to go to another map because I have a better map to go to. I started playing on, on uh, Scania like a long, 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 long time ago. And uh, I played on, obviously, Scania, and uh, Scania is a normal server, so... Um, I used to go to this map in the, in the spaceship with, with the Star Force, and it's like 140 Star Force. And I used to really like this map. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go there now. Back in the day, I would actually level up there all the way to like 200 because the penalties for XP weren't... I don't even know if they existed back in the day, actually. And you know what? Actually, I should probably um, get a bit more stars and go for 160 because the Twilight Perion maps are also 160 Star Force. So let's just do that because uh, why not? This feels a bit wrong to do <laughs> before Shining Star Force is uh, here because there's like a few days for that, like two days. Uh, but yeah, whatever, that's fine. Those uh, eight stars are the, the list that I need for Twilight Perion. So now I have enough Star Force to go all the way to 200 pretty easily. So I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll probably just uh, show you bits and pieces of my level up all the way to 200. But uh, other than that, I'm not going to stop until I get there probably. Or maybe I'll do like Monster Park at some point, but uh, yeah. Either way, let's go to Omega Sector. And uh, as you can see in the 
buffs that I still have left. Oh shit, I didn't even use this, the other one now that I think about it. But yeah, as you can see from the buffs that I have left, um, it took about... Well, actually, I have no idea how much it took. I don't know when I got to this map, but it didn't take long to level up. Now, I want to test those maps out. I have no idea which one is good or whatever, or if any of them are good at all. So we'll just test uh, both. Um, yeah, I'll test those maps. Oh, this one seems like a good layout. Seems a pretty condensed map. But the monsters are super tanky. I don't know if... Uh, I, I don't think Aeroblaster can kill anything here, but uh, I'll put it up here and uh, hopefully it can do something. And yeah, I'll stay here for now. So the last, uh, the last XP coupon has just run out. Or, I mean, the last XP coupon that was active. I still have a few in my inventory. But uh, I moved to this map at some point. Um, just because I thought maybe I can, I can kill faster now. And it seems like I can. I'm not sure if the XP is uh, worth it. I'm not sure if it's better XP than the... Um, than the wild wars and stuff, but uh, I'm here for now. I can use this rune and get a bit more XP, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stay here probably for one more level and then I'll go and do Monster Park for the last level, I think. Probably, most likely. And then after I do Monster Park, I'll do. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see, I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about it. I'll probably do something like, uh, oh, what am I, what, what am I even talking about? I, I'll do Haven, like the Haven introduction quest. What, why did I even, whatever. Okay, yeah, I'll do Haven introduction quest after I'm done with, uh, <laughs> with leveling up through Monster Park, which I hope will level me up, by the way. I don't even know if it will. So this is where we ended up after doing all of the... Uh, monster Park runs, which is, uh, again, seven Monster Park runs, of course. Yeah, I'm probably gonna... You know what? I'll actually do Golox. I think Golox might actually give me a bit of a, a bit of XP, I guess. So I might as well just show you how incredibly easy um, Golox is with Bowmaster. So you just put your portal over here on this, uh, on this edge of the platform. And uh, from time to time you just jump down, you refresh this, and then you try not to get killed by the hand. And uh, I jumped up, but you, but you can just uh, use the teleporter and just go back up. And uh, nothing could hurt you, except for those explosions that don't really do anything. So yeah, you can just basically stand here and hold down Hurricane. And uh, from time to time go down to refresh your uh, arrow blaster, and that's it. Like, that's just how incredibly easy uh, Golox is on Bowmaster. Probably the easiest character, or one of the easiest characters for uh, for for this boss. And by the way, this is just a uh, normal Golox. It's not it's not anything crazy or something like that. It's just normal very soon. Oh, I should have just accepted it outside. And that's another 16%. I mean, it's not a lot, obviously, but, uh, you know, I'm fine with it either way. And we are just about to level up here. Cool. It took like maybe two minutes, I think. <laughs> it didn't take long at all. Uh, let's do... Oh, I need to do... Da, 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 this one. Okay. Now we do this. Uh, we level up once more. And um, after, after, I'm, after I'm done with that, I can also use... Uh, I can also use all of the XP vouchers. Because I have like 2000 FC vouchers or something. So, like, I'm gonna level up a bit with that. Okay, very nice. Uh, I'm level um, 200 now. I can... Can I use the vouchers before I even do uh, the next job? It doesn't seem like I can. Or maybe I need to, like, accept a quest or something. Okay, let's see if I can use it. So, I have 2,898 um, XP vouchers. XP points. Let's see how far we can get with that. Wait, how many coupons did I have? What the hell? Okay, that's actually insane. <laughs> like, I didn't even do the fifth job, and I'm already 
215. Um, okay, that's that's absolutely crazy. But let's do fifth job now, I guess. Uh, we get immediately into Yum Yum. <laughs> I, I'm actually... Yeah, this is really insane. Okay. <laughs> and look at that. <laughs> Have you ever opened your V Matrix for the first time and had this many slots? <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, uh, we are fifth job now. I can take a bunch of node stones now, I guess. Do I even have a bunch of node stones? Like, I get five from the um, quest here, obviously. So I get like five node stones from doing fifth job, basically. Then I get like a hundred from um, burning, I think, right? At level 215. And then also I have like 60 in the bank, maybe? Something like that, something around 60. Oh, I can't skip yet. Okay, let's see. Uh, so I get... I get 50 here. I get 50 here, and then uh, I took the ring already, I do have the ring, I took it while I was doing the um, quests before, oh I have 55, okay that's okay I guess, oh there, then there is also the things here, I think yeah, 100 node stones as well here, I'm gonna use all of those, all of the node stones here, all of the experience node stones, I'm gonna use them all on my skills. Um, because I want to get one of the skills maxed out um, before before I do six job because uh, you know obviously six job is gonna be uh, is gonna require me to max out a skill in order to upgrade it so I'm probably gonna just go for rain of arrows because this skill is absolutely insane it's so strong. And I think the duration increases when you max it, or when you level it up, so it's even better. Uh, so duration is... yeah, it does, it increases. Okay, so yeah, I'll do that. Um, so yeah, I'll do Reign of Heroes. I'll do all of the node stones here. All of the um, experience node stones. And then after that, I'll do all of the regular node stones, and I'll... Uh, I should obviously um, search for some good uh, trios as well, so... Yeah, we'll have to do that too. And what I'll probably do on this account is I'll probably just uh, mainly play on this character, and then I'll do I'll do dailies on my dual blade, obviously, it's because <laughs> because of course I wanna uh, max out my stuff there. But I'll, uh, I'll I'll mainly accept the XP on this character, um, and I think after I'm done with the dailies on this character, and doing everything there, uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just go over to one of my uh, Legion characters and just level it up as much as I can to get a fuck off. Fuck off! Why does it cover half of the screen? Uh, so I said I'm gonna level this one up all the way, so might as well just give it all of the experience nodes. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> really? Okay, cool. So this goes up to level 18, and the duration increases to 63, that's 50% uptime. That's... wow, that's actually so good. I don't even know how to explain how strong this skill is. This is such a strong skill, and it's so good for farming. When you, when you cycle through this one and this one, you just cycle between them, and it's so strong. It's so good for farming, so, 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 so good. So I'm really happy that it increases the duration. And now for the difficult part. Okay, you know what? Actually, no. Let's just take all of the nodes first. Let's take everything here. Oh, I guess I need to complete the quest. Okay, let's just complete the quest real quick. I'll even use the Storm of Arrows. Let's put it, I guess, here. Hopefully I don't get one shot or something. Oh, I already killed one. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and skip all of the quest lines and then I'll uh, I'll keep talking about the notes I guess. Okay, so let's take all of the rewards now. So I have this. So we have a hundred notes and we have uh, two symbols at level five. I'm contemplating taking the trade boost and just putting it on charm because I don't want to work towards uh, leveling up charm like that. Uh, but it's probably better, <laughs> like, probably better to just level up charm slowly. I just really don't want to do it on this character as well, because I did it on my Dual Blade before, and it was 
it is better. Like, I'm not saying it's not, but uh, it's a lot of work, and I don't think that I care enough to do that. So I'll probably just take this and do charm. And again, I'm just saying this is not a good idea. If uh, if I didn't, uh, if this was the main character on this account and not just uh, like a side character, I would have probably taken ambition here. But since this is just a side character, I don't. I'm not gonna like uh, bother with uh, investing so much time into leveling up charm and stuff. So yeah, let's just get rid of it uh, right off the uh, get go. I guess I don't know. How, how you should say it. I have a bunch of cubes that I could use um, in order to uh, cube the, the ring a bit. Although I'll, I'll probably I'll probably try to tear it up because... Uh, dude, this is not a thief. Come on. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth wasting any more cubes because I want to tear it up and get like drop rate or something because uh, I'm gonna be farming on this character a lot probably. So yeah. Um, but let's let's go for notes ones now. Let's uh, open all of the notes. Okay, those are all of my notes. Okay, so now for the absolute most annoying thing in the world, which is <laughs> trying to figure out my notes. Okay, so what I need is I need hurricane, I need air blaster, I need quiver. This is useless. Um, this is sort of useless. This is okay. This is good. So I can probably get all six of these. Um, I can do covering fire, I guess. It's just, it's really useless, but uh, I can do it as well. But uh, anyways, the main, the main ones that I need are those three, and then those three. And this is kind of useless, but I guess you could use it as well. Like, it's, it's good for certain bosses. It slows and stuff, but... Uh, other than that, it's really a useless skill in my opinion. But uh, we'll probably take this one as well because we're gonna have more nodes than we can than we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for a bunch of the. I'll search first of all. I'll search all of the trios that include every single one of those skills. So let's just uh, let's just start with that. I guess it's gonna take a while. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just run you down. I guess I can activate this and build up stacks now. Um, yeah, let me just run you down what I did so you can get a bit of an idea. So as you can see, I have um, a level 4, level 4, level 4, and level 4. So I tried to get each of the skills that I need to level 4. Uh, I tried to get Gritty Gust, but honestly I really don't care about this skill. And Covering Fire is just there as a filler. And you'll understand why in a second. Uh, okay, let's go into the V matrix. So as you can see, I have eight slots occupied with uh, boost nodes. You know what? I actually didn't check if I if I have uh, eight slots to give up on. So let me just. Oh boy. Okay, let me just uh, check it out. Okay, I think that I am officially ready to 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 show you what I have. Okay, <laughs> my my brain is just all over the place. Whew. Okay, okay, I have eight slots. Okay, um, on those eight slots, I have um eight boost notes. Jesus, my brain is just <clears throat> not working right now. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay, so occupying eight slots, I have eight boost nodes, eight different boost nodes. Um, and they all have uh, skills that I need, except for basically this one, which is covering fire. And I guess. Gritty Gust is not very useful, but uh, yeah, other than that, all of the skills that I have here are pretty useful. And here's the plan. So each of these skills will reach level uh, 20. Wait, why is my brain... 25, no, I'm sorry, 25. <laughs> why would we reach level 25? Wait, what? Okay. So each one of those uh, boost notes will reach level 10. 
and then it will sit on a level um, level five slot like this one. It will it will bring me to the to the spot where uh, each of the level four skills here uh, are skills that uh, exist four times in the boost notes and they will end up being level 60 because you know 15 times 4 equals 60 and that's basically the general plan that i'm going with if you have watched my hyperion videos um this is basically exactly the same so yeah i went with the exact same strategy and it worked perfectly there and the only problem is it ends up occupying every single one of the slots here so i'll have like 25 slots occupied because um just to to show you so i need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen skill notes and then i have eight boost notes so that's 25 uh, 24 23 sorry and then there is a uh, will skill so uh a true arachnid reflection there's this one and then there is the Seren skill, which I don't even know the name of. But uh, yeah, so those two are also skills that I will need. Um, I can give up some of the skills, like I don't really need Advanced Blessing, it's just like a cherry on top, sort of. Um, I don't really need Wheel of Erda, because uh, it's like, I'm probably not gonna use it that much, probably. Like, I'm probably just gonna forget about it 90% of the time, so yeah. And rope lift is also a bit arguable, so I can I can remove some things. Uh, also, I can always level up the boost nodes a bit more and just like keep less boost nodes. So that's always a possibility, that's not a problem at all to do. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with uh, nodes, so let's just uh, level up all of the boost nodes. So just so you could see how effective this this strategy is, look at that. I already have skills at like level twenty, so they hit more than one more than one monster as well, or already. So they get like the the first boost. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, like this one is already like twenty eight. I don't even know why. I could probably just uh, craft a bunch of node stones and then hope for the best. I guess. Like it is it good actually? I'm not sure. Well, no, it's probably not good, because probably, yeah, like I was about to say, uh, some of them probably are just way better than the others. So I feel like this one is insane, so I'm just gonna level up, uh, level this one up as much as I can. I'm just gonna go for this one as well, uh, like the first one, because this one is the best that I have. So this one will level up a bit. Nice, very good. Now, if we have all of the boost nodes on these are the levels for the boosts um, that we have currently when everything gets to level 10 and sits on a level 5 um, slot it will all be maxed so or at least all of the ones that had like level 4 or like uh, 4 slots occupied but for now let's take out the ones that I don't care about for now I'll probably get rid of most of them right now because I probably don't need most of them I probably prefer having this, for example, and this, and, uh, and this. But I do want as many Aero Blasters as I can get. Like, Aero Blaster is the one that I want to have the most of right now. Because Aero Blaster um, levels up Speed Mirage, and Speed Mirage is really good for clearing, f for clearing maps. And it also enables me to just put Aero Blaster and uh, have it kill stuff on its own so yeah okay so yeah uh, i'm done with all of the skills here i think dude can you get this shit out of here this is so annoying to see uh i'll level up arcane force as much as i can just so i have a bit of an easier time killing monsters in this in those areas i'm just gonna level it up all the way yeah let's take this guy to uh test ride i guess this map is really good obviously i'm really weak because uh you know <laughs> i i still have like shit gear but uh here's what's good about this character you pop this skill because this could run in the background at all times then you pop this skill and you just uh you just stand here and everything dies without you needing to do anything this is 
such a good a good farmer this class is such a good farmer and once you reach the level where you're strong enough to one shot with hurricane it's like the most like lazy farming you can get basically other than maybe bite farming on nightwalker <laughs> like yeah that's probably the only thing that's even better than that maybe maybe something like kana is better because kana can cover like bigger maps maybe i guess oh i don't have the magic barrage or whatever um on a quiver barrage okay on a key let's put it on a key now once the storm rain of storm 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 of arrows whatever it's called once it runs out you just pop this and you just continue clearing the map like it's nothing like pretty fucking sick i love this class so much and if you have a vac pet, you don't even have to loot anything, so <laughs> that's even better, I guess. So I actually stayed here for long enough to level up, um, which is pretty funny because uh, I was entirely just coming here to showcase the farming capabilities of this character. I wasn't planning on farming, actually, but uh, I like it, so I just stayed for a bit, and uh, now I'm about to level up. So let's just... <laughs> Let's just do that, and then I'll probably leave. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do daily bosses, and then hopefully get some good stuff. So that's absolutely fucking great that I got an actual item. Cool. Exactly what I wanted. Now I need a shoulder from Magnus, I guess. So I'm gonna get uh, 10 cubes and just cube my uh, my ring a bit. Even though it's a very bad idea right now because, uh, yeah, you know what? No, 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 I'm not going to do it. Well, do I do it? Jesus, I'm not sure. Because on one hand, it's a bad idea because there's Shining for Star Force right around the corner, so I'm going to need every single bit of missiles that I can get. But on the other hand... Uh, if I can get a bit of mesos obtained and then just farm a lot, I might just get the mesos back. I think I think it's a good idea. You know what? I'll just do it. Whatever. Might as well. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to tear it up. Hopefully it can tear up. I'll obviously take whatever I can in terms of uh, stats. If I can get better stats, then that's good. Okay. 12%. That's nice. Okay. Well, 12% stat or dex, that's pretty good as well, so why not? Um, so now let's take the Vak pet that I still have uh, from the 6 star event. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, farm for a bit uh, my, while I'm doing my dailies. Okay, so I got most of what I wanted. I got a ring, I got two pendants, and I got a shoulder. I also got a belt, but that's just uh, a, bit, a bit irrelevant because... That's just a random placeholder, I guess. I guess I should open all of my um, potentials because, uh, you know, might as well. Um, so my goal with this character is to do as many weekly bosses before Sunday or even at Sunday. It's fine because the thing is I need <laughs> I need as much missiles as I can get for Shining Star Force. So yeah, I'm going to have to get a bit stronger with this character. It's really weak now. I could probably like do, I don't know, Hard Magnus, maybe? Because Hard Magnus is pretty easy. So I can probably, you know what, let's just check it. Let's just try Hard Magnus, I guess. Like I leveled up this character. I practically created it today, so I'm not sure about uh, how feasible this is. So just to clarify, this is what I usually do to test out damage for a character. Like I do Hard Magnus, because Hard Magnus is a very good uh, benchmark for your character's damage, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's just put stuff on the combo key, because I don't have it set up yet. Okay, yeah, I definitely have enough damage. It will take a while. But it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but it's not gonna be hard, in my opinion.
Okay, like I said, it was a pretty simple or easy fight, I guess. Um, I got a tyrant cape, I guess. That's good. So, uh, happy about that. Cool. Okay, I was just like super randomly starting to farm and I, I like kept going <laughs> for like an hour. Uh, yeah, I don't even know why. Initially, I did it for the for the daily quest. But then I, I just sort of forgot because I was watching your video, so I kept going. <laughs> and I finished the, the quest like ages ago and I didn't even do the, the Vanishing Journey one, so I need to go do that. Uh, but it's really funny, I think, that I just, <laughs> just leveled, almost leveled up without even paying attention, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just uh, do those quests. Oh no, I just realized I didn't do dailies like commercy oh no it's like eight minutes before reset so there's no way i'm getting to commercy before before reset happens i guess i lose one day of uh, commercy which is pretty annoying but uh yeah nothing i can do about it i guess you know what actually i'm gonna add well it has nothing to do with the commercy but i, I want to add something so i've been watching a progression series from um this guy named uh, soga uh, I'll put a link to in the description to his uh, channel. And I really liked something he does, where he puts like the the date and stuff and the date and the time on the bottom of the screen. And I think that I want to do the same thing. Okay, I'm done with Commercy. I'm not really tired, but I think I'll go to sleep. <laughs> okay, so I just talked really quickly on my Dolbaid to um to do the the aqua adventure now let's go back to the bowmaster and let's use the xp coupons to level up xp coupon nice it's cool Oops. can i get another level no okay cool so we are now 220 um i don't know what i'm gonna take on this character actually i feel like i should be taking uh the dominator or the absolute weapon this time because i i have too many characters using um the damien coins at this point so it's a bit annoying i want to get my dual blades weapon as fast as i can so i don't want to delay the dual blade so i'll probably just get the um the absolute weapon here this time okay sure shot absolute obviously um it's way better than my current bow which is a uh, obviously not a very impressive one um i'll even get a bunch of flames from the event oh oops that's the wrong event uh from here and use those flames because you know why not might as well flame the item because it's a super good item so yeah nope oh this is a really good one okay i'll take it i'll definitely take this one well do i take it is it a high tier i don't even know let's let's check the calculator and see if it's a good tier item i think it is i'm pretty sure that's like six at tier six uh, flame but uh, let's just make sure. Okay, yeah, it's a tier 6 flame. So that's really nice. Okay, I'm not getting more than a tier 6, I don't think. With only um, with only red flames. That's probably not happening. So the rest of them can go into... Uh, into the temporary CRA, maybe? No, that's a waste. What do I put them on? Maybe I just keep them in the bank for now, I guess. I guess I just keep them in the bank. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else today. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. Uh, I just wanted to finish up the the level up to 221. So today we actually leveled up uh, 70 times because we started at uh, well almost 70 actually. Uh, we started at uh, 155 and leveled all the way here, and basically a few hours. Uh, I'm not sure when we started, but uh, now you'll be able to to tell, from now on, you'll be able to tell how much uh, time I've played during the day. 
So I, uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. And tomorrow I'll do a 0 to 100 event uh, character. And then I'll do a storehouse character. And then I'll continue on the on this character. So yeah, let's uh, let's just uh, close everything off here. And uh, yeah. Um. Okay. So <laughs> I don't want to say I just woke up because, uh, as you can see, it's like almost three p.m. But uh, I woke up like an hour ago. Um. And now it's time to get into Maple. Um. Honestly, I I don't even go to sleep when I leave Maple. I just like, yeah, I I stay awake for a long time. So I go to sleep so late, so I wake up so late. I need to fix my uh, sleep schedule a bit. I, okay. Anyway, um, today we're gonna do dailies in Lucky Line as well. Not only do I get notes from um from the the weekly thingy, but I also get notes from this. So I have a bunch of notes. Uh yeah, okay. Let's just go to what was it? Hennessy's channel one. Yeah, okay, let's just do the notes now. Okay, so apparently I didn't do anything after I leveled up to this level, so <laughs> let me just uh let me just get this to level five and then I'm just gonna do it by order I guess. Uh, let's just level up all of the skills that got extra nodes. Okay, the MVP has been casted, but I'm not done here yet, so I'm just gonna finish up things here, and then I'll leave for a few minutes, and then I'll come... Well, actually, I might not leave, I might just go farm immediately. But let's just, um... Okay, so those skills are above level 10, so we don't need to upgrade them. Um, I need to upgrade this one, though, Hurricane. Okay, let's upgrade Hurricane. I'm gonna do whatever I can, so I'm gonna do 10 nodes. I don't care if it levels up a bit more than it should. Wait, where what was it? Oh, this one, okay. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't mind it being a bit over-leveled. That's fine. So let's see what the level of our skills now. Okay, Aeroblaster is the one I cared about the most, and it has reached level 40, so that's really good. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so I'm really close to leveling up. Uh, I'll just start recording now, I guess. Um, I've been... Uh, I've been farming this map with either Hurricane or just uh, Aerostream. Uh, I'm not sure wh which is better. I don't really kill with, uh, with Hurricane. But Hurricane is a very effective way of uh, activating all of my my peripheral skills, so it's like a very easy way to do that. And also I can just jump down the tower while I'm holding down Hurricane, so like it's very easy to do. So that's why I'm using Hurricane, but I'm not sure if it's like the best option or anything. But yeah, uh, as you can see this map is working pretty well. Oh, you know what? What I'll probably do with the next MVP is actually, I'll probably do um, a food storehouse character. That's what I'll probably do. I just remembered I needed to do a bunch of those, so I'll probably do like bluster or something. But yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this MVP and then I'm gonna go to my bluster and do food storehouse and then, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do later. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for now. Okay, so here's something I just realized. Um, I forgot about it completely. But apparently, I saved up 10,000 node shards on this Dark Knight to transfer to my Bowmaster. So let's just do <laughs> let's just do that, I guess. Uh, we can make 303 nodes. This is gonna make my Bowmaster fucking crazy. Let's just uh, get that. Why not? I'm probably not gonna open all of them on my Bowmaster, but uh, most of them is most likely what's gonna happen here. Because I, I just, I don't need anything on this character. Like, I, I actually just don't need anything on this character. His boost nodes are maxed, um, his, uh, his skills are in a, well, satisfying level, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm not really planning on doing a lot with this character just yet, so I don't really care about uh, the node levels and stuff, so yeah. The bowmaster will get uh, a bit of a fist here. 
Okay, so I've been uh, editing the video today. I, I was about to say this morning, but uh, it's not a morning. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I, I've been editing the video and I just realized I have like way too much footage saved up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just split this episode into two separate episodes. So this is going to be episode six and the next one is episode seven. But they are um, comprised of basically the same, the same, uh, the same series of clips, I guess, because I, like all of those clips were supposed to go into episode six. But now that I'm editing it, I realize that, uh, Jesus, okay, I have like way too many clips. Like this is way too long. So I'm gonna keep it um, just under one hour of a video, and then hopefully I can fit everything into the next episode. I'm not sure if I can. But I'll try my best. But yeah, I guess that, that means that uh, the next episode will come way faster than uh, I usually release episodes for this series. So hopefully this is uh, good for you guys. Um, Yeah, I guess this is the outro, I guess, that I'm recording just randomly. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have anything to say. Uh, I'm trying to stream, sort of. I don't really stream right now because I'm waiting for a new mic to arrive because I did order a new mic finally. So I'm waiting for that and then I'll start streaming a bit more, maybe, or most likely. But uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe. <laughs> and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.